There's another pattern, um, and I and I, I I think if we plotted this, we might get to there. It feels as if a majority of states, their biggest hotspot, is either one of sort of it's either a, a a meat a food processing plant, a prison, a nursing home. Now, what is that? And and and, and on one hand, we know why that is the the density and things like that. Given that, that now we see that it's plain as day, right? You see this picture. How would that how should that affect our planning for the fall and our and our sort of our mitigation plans for the next six months? The first thing I'd say is that it's it's good to think about the fall, especially with the overlap of COVID and influenza, where they'll both be putting pressure on our hospitals and causing people to get sick and, and, and some, unfortunately, to be in intensive care units. But, but we're going to have rolling waves across the country between now and the fall. So I, we shouldn't look too far ahead because we're going to have our own challenges in the next couple of months as numbers rise and fall around the country. Um, but I think uh, it's, 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 it's going to be important for us to think about the measures that we have in place to help businesses reopen. We need to give businesses enough guidance we're, we're hoping that CDC right. will provide substantial detailed guidance to businesses so they can reduce their risks. The same needs to be done for schools, for universities. As all of these big institutions are opening, we need to do that. But you're right that despite all of that, there are going to be these large institutional outbreaks in places where people work very right. closely together. And we need to do everything we can in those facilities with masks and spacing and perhaps testing, earlier testing, earlier tracing to try and get control of these outbreaks because they are going to be a big driver of cases. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel. So thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.